Okay, so this problem uses multiple important theorems about um, uh, similar triangles and then about tangent lines and circles. Uh, also, it should be noted that really, you know, what you're trying to find here in this, this problem is the length of this leg of the circle. And to start, um, anytime you have a circle um, that is inscribed in a right angle like this, you can create this square where this is the radius and this is the radius and this is the radius. So really what we're trying to find in this problem is the value x which goes from this point up to this point. So that gets us an idea of what we're looking for. Um, one of the important theorems that you, you need to know is that around this circle there are, you can create, um, draw in those three radius or radii, and the theorem is that if two tangent lines intersect outside of a circle, then those two tangent lines are, e the, the point is equidistant from the two points of tangency. So you could say this length is x, and the same way that the, this is three and this is three, then we could say that this is y and this is y. So eventually what we could do is we could say that um, three plus y squared plus three plus x squared equaled x plus y squared. Now, in doing that, um, you need to know what x or y is. And so that's going to be what we're trying to figure out. Um, if we can find out x, then we have a problem. But an alternative solution would be to find out what y is, which is what I'm going to show you to do. OK, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw in that um, line connecting the two set, uh, circles and we're going to actually extend it all the way down to the, where it intersects this point right here. And that was relevant because now if we draw in a parallel line to the base right here, that becomes very valuable because this length is 1, which means that length is 1, which means this length is 2. And then this length is 3 and this length right here is 1 because those are the radii of the circles. So if I want to find out what this length is, right there, all I need to do is use the Pythagorean theorem, which says 2 squared plus um, b squared equals 4 squared. Right? This is the 2. Here's the 4. You solve that, you end up with b equaling 2 root 3. And so we find out that this length right here is 2 root 3. And so is this length. So now I know part of y. So now all I'm looking for is that one. But because this was a parallel line, the squiggly line was parallel, we end up with this situation where it looks like this, where these two lines are parallel, right? Here is what we're talking about. And so we know that this is 2 because of that. We know this is 1 because it's the radius of the circle. And we know this is 2 root 3. And then we know these triangles are similar because they're both right angles, and those angles are the same. So this length right here is root 3, which actually shows that this side right there is 2, but that, doesn't, that, that wasn't relevant to the problem. So now we found out that y equals 3 root 3 because this is 2 root 3, and this is root 3. So we go up and we plug in 3 root 3 for y, and we solve this problem. We got 3 plus 3 root 3 squared plus 3 plus x squared plus equals x plus 3 root 3 squared. Go through and, and multiply everything out. When you square this, you end up with 9 um, plus 27 when you square the first and the last term, which is 36. The middle two terms multiplied together give you uh, 9 times 2 is 18. So eight, 36 plus 18 root 3. This one is 9 plus 6x plus x squared. And this over here is x squared plus 6 root 3 x plus um, 27. Combine like terms, subtract things, the x squareds cancel out. We'll bring the 6x over here. So you end up with 6 root 3 x plus or minus 6x. We got um, 45. And not, uh, 36 and 9 is 45, subtract 27 from that, and you end up with 18 plus 18 root 3. Now, we can factor an x out of here and divide both sides by 6 root 3 minus 6, which simplifies, when you factor out the 6, to 3 plus 3 root 3 over 
root 3 minus 1. And then just multiply the top and the bottom by root 3 plus 1 to clear the denominator. And you end up with 3 root 3 plus 3 root 3 is 6 root 3. And then you've got um, 9 plus 3, which is 12, all over, well, root 3 uh, minus 1 times root 3 plus 1 is just going to be 2. So our x turns out to be 3 root 3 plus 6. But we didn't want to find out what x is. We wanted the whole thing, so we need to add 3 to that. And so that means our final answer is 3 root 3 plus 9. So the answer to this problem is 3 root 3 plus 9.